What is SCB? SCB is an independent device that acts as a node in the network architecture. Each privileged access connection goes through this node. SCB is capable of limiting the possibilities of administrators, such as a firewall. For example, it can force authorization rules or forbid certain protocol services. SCB saves traffic going through the administrative connections to a format that is searchable and replayable. It is capable of saving the traffic of encrypted connections such as the SSH. You can run textual search in graphic protocols such as RDP. What is SCB good for? I will show some examples. The manager of the administrators gains real operative authority over subordinates. Uncontrollable rules are replaced with impenetrable walls with SCB. It is no longer necessary to supervise or review that the rules are being observed, since SCB enforces them. The server and client applications do not have to be modified in order to use SCB. It integrates smoothly into the existing infrastructure. It requires significantly less time and work in forensic situations if tracking back an event means only watching a video rather than going through hundreds of log files. With SCB, it is also possible to force that supervisor is logged into the system along with the administrator while administrating the most critical processes or handling extremely sensitive data. This for eyes authorization is similar to the safety protocols when bank safes can only be opened with two keys simultaneously. Both the owner and the bank clerk have to be present. This level of protection is extremely useful when handling of critical systems in either outsourced or done by external professionals.